Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Astrological Intentions. I am your host, Alex Reevy, along with the Eclipse expert herself, Sandy Reevy. Hi, everybody. Check that out. It is episode 321, week of September 16th. Let's get right into it. In the transits, we have... September 17th, Tuesday, full moon at 25 degrees of Pisces. Lunar eclipse, mystic hope. September 18th, Mercury opposing Saturn retrograde. Make a choice. Thursday the 19th, sun trying Uranus retrograde. Explore new landscape. Friday the 20th, sun opposing Neptune retrograde. Hello, Neptune, AKA Poseidon. Saturday the 21st, Mercury square Jupiter. Polishing up. And Sunday, the 22nd, Sun trine Pluto retrograde. Be powerful. And Sun ingress Libra. Fall equinox. And Venus square Pluto retrograde. Let go of one. And Venus ingress Scorpio. Instead, be kind. And that is going to be the entirety of our episode since we are going to be out of the country. Um, So stay tuned for this episode of Astrological Intentions. I say go do you, now travel far, share your stories and earn your scars, it's you. Say you are the one you will answer to when this life is done. Don't waste a minute, jump in the river, wash yourself clean so you can deliver you. Hello Eclipse expert. Hey, we just, hey, if you're interested in uh, in a really great one hour plus actually uh webinar on the fall eclipses uh susan goodell and i just recorded our patreon chatting with the stars your so astrology you, webinar mm-hmm. yeah. so you could join us at patreon and chatting with the stars and check out all of the webinars that we have there we just re- recorded this one this is the full moon. This is a full moon. So we know that it's a lunar eclipse. Uh, this will be the first of two eclipses. We get, we're going to get a lunar eclipse first. And two weeks later, we're going to get a solar eclipse. Again, more of that information on the, um, the webinar that you can get to. Awesome. But this is a full moon. That means that the sun is at 25 degrees of Virgo making an opposition to moon at 25 degrees of Pisces. This is the first of several eclipses that are starting to begin in Pisces. So for you and I, this is important. Um, And where this is in a chart, again, all that's on the webinar that we did. But we will have eclipses, solar and lunars, in Pisces all the way until uh, 25 and 26 um, and one last one in 2027. So uh, right. this one particular um, is about mystic hope. Believe beyond the realistic measures. Right. right? And quick, I want to just preface here to everyone that our episodes for the next few weeks are going, well, the next several weeks are going to be an abridged version of just the, our transit talk. So you'll notice that our episodes are going to be much shorter, but that is because we are busy prepping for our two back-to-back retreats, one in Greece and one in Egypt. So let's get back into the transits and talk about that September 17th full moon at 20 degrees of Pisces. Right. So just saying that I called it the mystic hope, believe beyond realistic measures. You know, Pisces doesn't have borders. Right. Mm -hmm. Uh, Virgo, Virgo likes the detail and the, and the formulation and the patterning, but that's why it's opposite. So it's kind of like, what can you believe in that is hopeful? Mm -hmm. You know, right. You see. That's the day that you and I both leave for Athens. So again, we're mystic hoping and believing that these our travels will be just rich and bountiful for everyone. Yes. yes. So let's move into Wednesday, September 18th, Mercury opposing Saturn retrograde. Right. So this is making a choice, right? Because it's an opposition. So there's only one route. 
start early and expect delays or change your perspective and see what this unknown journey um, is joyous. See it as um, experimental. And again, we're arriving in Athens. So it's kind of like, mm, did the shuttle get the wrong, you know, uh, timing or something? It'll be like, we'll have to make a, uh, there's only one route between here and there. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's why we're having a shuttle pick us up because the guy knows exactly where we're going. Right. So, right. How to get there. So there's only one way we got to trust that. So just seeing and looking around and going, oh my gosh, I don't know where I'm at. I've never been, or I've been here before, but I don't know the roads. Enjoy what you see, even if you're not in Greece. Yes, true. Um, so Thursday, September 19th, Sun Trine Uranus retrograde. You heard Trine. You that heard was good. Mm -hmm. um, this is explore new landscape. Um, see that. Uh, see what unusual suggestions you can make or take. Right. Put put something in a bucket and then draw from it. You know, we've done that at Thanksgiving where I'm like, everybody put something in a bucket and then we draw from it and do that one thing. Mm -hmm. um, but it's interesting that this is the day we're going to the Parthenon, right? We're going to the up the hill to the Parthenon, to the Acropolis, and to the museum. And it's so weird and unusual that, you know, I had written all this a year ago. And it's like, explore the landscape. Well, hell yeah, we're going to do it. <laughs> but so where are you if you're not one of the ones going to the uh, walk in the Acropolis, walking areas that this philosophers and mythologers or the myths have walked in the, in the past. So um, see what unusual suggestions you can take from your vicinity, from your environment. Mm -hmm. And Friday, September 20th, sun opposing Neptune retrograde. Hello, Neptune, AKA Poseidon. Now, when we hear the sun is opposing an outer planet, we know that that planet is as closest to us as possible, closest to earth as possible. So it's kind of like a making a wish. Um, we will be swimming and dining and visiting Poseidon this day on his cliff. How crazy is that? That is. <laughs> what a wonderful day. Right. So we'll be watching. We'll be swimming in his waters, the Aegean Sea, um, having some um, food. And uh, and actually, remember, they play the accordion there. Mm -hmm. It was, be, it was very cool. Whatever, whatever song we wanted, he, he knew it. In fact, Pretty somebody's cool. birthday was last year and he did a version happy of birthday. happy birthday. Yes. Um, and so, but, but with his son making this opposition to Neptune, like Neptune is in Pisces, right? What, what can you dream for? What can you dream about? Hey, I can, I have an idea. We are going back to Greece next year in September, put that on your, in your bucket and draw from that, right? Mm -hmm. Make that part of your purpose, your inspiration of wish, make a wish. Yeah. Your bucket list. So let's move on to Saturday, September 21st, Mercury square Jupiter. Right. So this is polishing up. This is really interesting because Mercury is in, in, in Virgo. He rules Virgo is making a square to Jupiter, Jupiter's in Gemini. So ruled by Mercury, Mercury rules two signs, Virgo, Gemini. And so this is uh, in the square says there's stress. So Mercury gets to polish, apply some pressure onto mm -hmm. a rock or onto a hard surface to bring the gem alive, right? Beautiful. Polishing up a rock to get it to a gem stone, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't mind this day. Uh, and this will be a really big day for, my, for us. Um, as we and are when you're polishing, it does take a lot of elbow grease, right? You gotta get, you gotta get into it. Yeah. So Sunday, September 22nd, sun trine Pluto retrograde. So this is be powerful. Again, we know that um, Pluto is retrograde here and um, Pluto is about to start going direct in a couple weeks. That's why we got the trine. Uh, so watch, watch for the fanfare. You know, it's, it says be powerful, right? Like show, you can show your muscles or 
try to arm wrestle someone with 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 like more delight, more of not stronghold, not a strong arm. Does that make sense? Strong, like more in play yeah. because right. it's not about being hubris. It's not being about I can be you. Just watch me. Right. It's mm-hmm. not. It sounds like the Wicked Witch of the West that I was being. Um, be more powerful in the Glenda, the Good Witch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. She right. can wish made it too. Because who dies in the end? The Wicked Witch of the West. <laughs> they, yes. go, they go down. Right. right. And also with that Pluto retrograde, it is, it might be maybe reconsidering what competition means or do you, or whoever you're kind of competing against, are they really actually on your team? And that could be a really wonderful way to increase your power. Right. We're watching that even in politics, people changing sides and going with, you know, who they think is more powerful in that, in that uh, approach. So, you know, be powerful in your own right. Right. All right. So the we have a few more transits for Sunday, 20, the 22nd. The next is Sun Ingress Libra. Happy birthday, Libras. It's fall equinox. We're at the halfway point of the sun coming back to, you know, like in Chicago, it'll go down one of the, the, the street lines. It's the equidistance between the solstices. Mm-hmm. And so this is about being fair with all connections because... Venus is its ruler. So the sun is moving into this Libra of fairness and equality, right? Let's, let's, let's tune into that Mm -hmm. for a good month. Right. And same day, Sunday, the 22nd, Venus square Pluto retrograde here, Pluto retrogrades coming back. Right. So let go of one, try to relate on to all cultural differences, right? There's Venus in a square to Pluto. There's no gossip. You don't need, don't, please don't talk behind people's backs. Um, Compromise instead, right? I'll do this. You can do this. And we'll both meet at the middle, right? Mm -hmm. Don't give everybody, don't give one person the load while the other one sits and complains that you're not working fast enough, right? Mm -hmm. So let go of one thing that you can compromise on. Right. Okay. So also we have to end the week, Venus ingress Scorpio. Right. So in, instead be kind, right? So Venus here, she moves in at 9 36 PM Chicago time. Uh, she moves into her detriment. And so do we suffer fools gladly? I don't even really know what that means. Right. Um, but be kind. Um, be patient with those that are bothering you, <laughs> right? Like somebody rubbing you the wrong way, just move away, right? Just go over there, be kind. You don't have to turn on them. You don't have to growl. You don't have to talk behind their backs to someone. Just step away, see how powerful mm-hmm. you can be with your quietness. Ooh, I like that. That is a good one to look at. And Libra season is about peace and harmony. So if it can't be harmonious, even within your internal world, when you're around somebody, it might be a good idea just to remove yourself. And and what you're learning about yourself, you know, like this is during the retreat. So one of the things we're I'm going to point out, Ariel Gutman and I, you know, have talked about, you know, this is Venus we're studying Venus, right? And she's going into the underworld. So we're going into a place of truth, right? So we're going to see aspects of ourselves and everybody can do this, you know, wherever they are in the world, because it's happening Mm -hmm. for everybody. Uh, You may not be getting the lessons that we're teaching, but you're getting a lesson that is being taught to you. You're seeing yourself as um, your true nature. And hey, there's probably parts of ourselves that we don't like, mm. that we can be aware of, right? To to um, become to, to to change that, right? That Scorpio to to flip the 
the coin, to flip mm. the flip the tire, to flip the behavior. Yep. And you know, the more people we're around, we're going to see what bother is bothersome because there's just a, a lot of people, especially on a retreat, we don't know who we don't know everybody. Now there's a right. lot of people that do know each other. We got a lot of new people coming on this one. So I think it's going to be brilliant. I yes. think it's it's brilliant. always great because oh. we we just encourage everyone to show up, um, show up to be themselves, be their loving, unique self. And when they need a break, they can take a break. <laughs> when they need to share something that's deep within their heart, we welcome it. Mm-hmm. So, um, wow, that was a lot going that, on. Yeah, it was a lot going on. But again, our episodes are shortening up for the next uh, several weeks because we are out of town and busy. But whenever we can, we are going to be giving you updates with what's going on during the retreats. So, we haven't I, abandoned you. Don't abandon. Right. We will come back with much more stories to share. Um, so that is a wrap on our episode today, everybody. Thank you so much for listening in and we will talk to you all next week. Bye-bye. Bye now. I say go do you. Now travel far, share your stories and earn your scars. It's you. Say you are the one you will answer to when this life is done. Don't waste a minute, jump in the river. Wash yourself clean so you can deliver you. The story of you, the story of you. The story of you, the story of you.